record and the floor is all yours. Thank you, Jana. Welcome, friends. It's awesome to see you again. It's Friday. We've gotten through another week of this shut-in, which means we're one week closer to our escape. So thanks for showing up. Thanks to Jana for being a the coordinator of all of this so that we get to connect in some small way, um, but looking forward to that day when we're in person. So if you are new to Tai Chi, you're in for a treat. It's just a gentle, fluid, moving practice. We're gonna give you a half hour of getting that energy, that chi, that ki, that prana, whatever you call it, moving. And I always liken chi to a stream of water. In fact, the Chinese refer to qi as energy or the wu way, the way of wu, which is the way of water. So I think about bodies of water and those that have movement tend to be healthy and clear and vibrant with lots of living things within it. And bodies of water that don't move tend to get kind of gunked up and clouded. So by moving our bodies, we can clear out the rigidity, the tension, the soreness, the fatigue, the negativity. And so we create fluidity in the body, lightness in the mind, and brightness in our heart. So as always, honor yourself. Go at your own best pace. You can even do the entire practice in a chair if you prefer. So just do what feels best and enjoy the ride. So we'll start with our feet wide, which is called a horse stance. And we send the energy up, and then we're going to shake it, shake it down. Send the energy up. Can you raise the volume a little down. bit, Nancy? Up. Let me see here. Uh, I'll try to talk louder. How's that? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Can you hear it? All right. So go ahead and just rub your palms together. Get that chi moving. And now we tap, tap the legs, inside, outside, back sides. Get that chi stimulated and moving. And you start to wag your hips a little bit. Beautiful. Now shake out the legs and the arms. Got it, got it. Now you rub your belly, lower down to the end. So this is sometimes where we hold on to a lot of rigidity and tension. And then counter that on the back of your body, the Ming Mong Center. So loosen up any lower back pain you may have or tightness. Awesome. Good. At the heart center, kind of a little bit of a Tarzan tap. You are letting that chi move in through the heart chakra. Awesome. This is the place where chi or energy flows in. And now at the shoulders, if you've got this, let it go and tap it, tap it, tap it. Beautiful. And then the arms. Wake them up. You can massage it. You can swipe it. You can tap it. Whatever feels best. Shake out the wrist, fingers. Good. The whole arm just wiggles. Now fingers touch and touch and touch and touch, tap, tap, reaching for wrists, got it. One more each, and then the top of your skull, all over the skull, wake it up. Acupressure points are tap, tap, tapping, good deal. Right between the third eye, between the eyebrow points, Point of intuition, outside, under, so gently, under the nose, the jaw, wriggle, 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 chin, and then just a soft ear cartilage massage. So you just establish the acupressure point for calmness. Wriggle the elbows, guys. Let that happen. Heaviness, roll down your back, and we'll begin. So from your horse, you're grounded, you're light, you're airy. We start with raising the chi. 
and sink it. So raise that inhale and lower your exhale. As your hands drop down, they face your belly, which is called feeding. So hands face the navel center. Now we will do the exact opposite. Send the arms up, supporting the sky on a pillar. Good. Supporting the sky on a pillar. Beautiful. How about two more? Supporting the sky on a pillar. Last one. Supporting it right it up. Now let's join those together. Raise the cheek and sink it. Support heaven. Beautiful. Now the left door open. Team, raise your left leg, open the door, and close it. Do that a few times. Just get the hang of it. Hands just hang fluidly like water from the wrist. Don't worry if you kind of shake or bobble. That's how you will get better. Opening and closing the left door. One more. Nice. Then we finish this form, which is just a Tai Chi or Qigong routine with cleaning. So you just swipe it. Beautiful. Same on the right. Inhale, raise the chi. Big, deep, purposeful breath. Lowest levels of lungs. Support the sky, or the Chinese call it the heavens, on a pillow. Right door opens. Good. So just moving like fluidity, like water, the way of Wu. One more right door. But you're also kind of assimilating locomotion or walking. So it's good for balance. Then there's with cleaning. Here we go. Inhale. And go sink it so on a pillar. Left door open. And we're going to move gang into bamboo. We just sway forward and back. Bamboo flows in the breeze. One more time. It's just a forward fold and a backward bend. Then, and we close that left door and finish the form with, you know it, cleaning. You let go of whatever doesn't serve you well. Right side, inhale, raise the chi. Exhale, sink it. Inhale, support the sky. It's a lotus flower growing tall. Right door open, and we sweep into bamboo. Three, three times, forward and neck and spine, two times. One more, bamboo in the breeze. We have to close that right door. Finish the form with cleaning. Yep, left side. Inhale, raise the chi. Exhale, sink it. Nice. Support the sky in a pillar. So these moves just blend. There's no real beginning or end. It's just like waves. Bam, boom. Three times, forward and back. Two times, one more time. Three. Now you take your left hand, we're on the left door. The hand and the knee comes up and look, it's bouncing a ball. Three and two. So the ankle and the wrist just roll. And then we go right hand. Three, bounce the ball. Two, don't worry if you wobble. One more. And then one more time, left hand, bounce the ball. The chest so smoothly. Good, looks excellent. One more. And then as always, we have to close our left door. Finish the form. Clean it off. Excellent. Add the bouncing ball on the right. Inhale, raising chi. Exhale. Inhale, support the sky. Right door opens. Three bamboo. Three, and open, and two, and open. Good, one more. Now we're on a right door, so right arm and leg, bouncing the ball. Ankle and wrist just 
flow. Good. Other side, left side, bouncing the ball. Three. And two. How's the breath? One more. One more, right side, bouncing the ball. Three. Letting that rigidity free itself from your physical self. And then close your door. Finish the form. Lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. And then clean it off. Adding on, left side. Inhale, raise the cheek. Check in. How are you feeling right this moment? Supporting the sky. Open your left door. Bamboo blows in the wind. Three. All right. Healthy spine. Healthy human. One more. Left hand bouncing the ball. Three. And two. Beautiful posture, guys. Right side bouncing ball. Three. And two. One more. Last time. Left side. Three. And two. And one. We're adding on. Swimming serpent. Three. And two. And one. And look, I just do this gentle block. Swimming serpent. Three. It's like a figure eight. Two. And one. Then you create this block. One more. Swimming serpent. Three. And two. And one. And you're blocking whatever you want to keep away from you and close the door. So you might think of coronavirus. You're blocking it, you're keeping it at bay. Awesome, right side, inhale, raise, and sink. Awesome guys, support the sky. And open your right door. Bending the bamboo, three, and open, and two, and open, and one. Right bouncing ball, three, good, and two, you look amazing, and one, left side, bounce the ball, three, such a beautiful, fluid, coordinated hand and leg movement, one more, right, three, and and one, that's serpent swimming, it's like a serpentine chain, three, Two and one. Here's your Tai Chi block. Boom. Three and two and one. Block. Boom. Strong warrior. Three and two. Awesome. And one. Block it. Close your right door. Finish the form. You look amazing. Clean it off. Adding on. Left side. Just two more pieces. Inhale, rest. Exhale, sink. Support the sky on a pillar. Got it. Opening our left door. So you start to know this bamboo. So you could just be in the flow. You don't have to think so hard about it. Yes? One more time. Bounce the left ball. Three. Nice balance on that one leg. Two. And right side. Bouncing ball. Three. And two. How's your pranayam? How's your breath? One more time. Left bouncing ball. Three. And two. And one. Swimming serpent. Serpentine figure eight. Three. Two. One. Block. Three. Two. One. And block. One more. Serpent swimming. Three. Two. And while we're adding on, there's a huge colorful rainbow. And then snake moves through the grass. Two more times. Rainbow, reach, open the gills. Snake moves through the grass. One more rainbow. Snake is moving through. Good. Close our door. Very nice. Finish the form with cleaning. We'll add that on right side. Inhale, raise. So here we are in the flow, in the groove, just like water moving in a healthy fashion. Bend your bamboo, three, 
and open, and two. How's your breath? And one. Right ball bounces. Three. Very nice, guys. Two. One more. Left ball bounces. Three. And two. Very cool. And one more. Right side. Three. And two. And one. Swimming serpent. Figure eight. Serpentine. Three. Two. One. Hit the block. Boom. Three, and two, and one, block that negativity. One more, three, and two, and one, block. Here comes the colorful rainbow, reach up, and then the left arm is a snake, grounding it to the earth. Rainbow goes high, snake runs low. Last one, reach that rainbow, and snake moves through. Close our door. Inhale, raise it, clean it off. We just have these final two skills, so we'll put them together. Here we go. Inhale, summizing this. So if you need to do it in a different way, then that's the way you should do it. You know the best way for you. Blow in the breeze, bamboo three. Ah, nice. Flexing and extending of the spine. Last one. Left ankle and wrist are so free. Right bouncing ball. Three. Very nice game. Two, one more left hand bouncing ball. Three, and two, and one. Swimming serpent. Three, and two. We're gonna block. What do you want to keep from you? Boom. Three, block. Yes, one more. Fluid shoulder wave. Boom. Here comes that colorful bright rainbow. It's high, and at the same time we have the duality of the ground and snake. Rainbow. Open your ribs, snake moves to the grass. Last one, up, snake runs through. Adding on, so left, wax on, and right leg, wild goose, spreads its wings. Left hand, wax on, right leg, wild geese, spreads its wings. One more, left, wax on, Tai Chi circle, wild geese. And let's have the double breath. So it's just an inhale, inhale, long sustained exhale. Snuff, snuff through the nose if you can. Exhale, purge through the mouth. One more. Turn to close our door. And as always, cleaning. Yep, right side. We'll add those two skills, then we'll perform it. Here we go. Inhale, open up. Maybe that synovial fluid, that lubricant, is starting to awaken in your body and your range of motion. It's getting bigger, more spacious. Bend the bamboo. Energy channels, the meridian, so the chi or the prana or the ki or the energy can flow through better. Bounce the ball. Three and two. Very cool. And left leg. Bounce the ball. Three. Great balance, team. Two and one more right side. Three and two and one. Swim that surf and one. Block it. Boom. And three. And two, and one. Where's your block? Boom. One more. Three, and two, and one. Block. Huge opening rainbow. Grounded snake. Honor your knees on that, but no. You decide how deeply you want to snake. One more, and snake. So we're on a right side. So I'll goose. Wax on, on right. We'll spread those wings, goose. One more. Wax on. Wild goose spreads its wings, double breath. Let it inhale, inhale. Twice more. Last one, everybody. Exhale, let it go. Then, as always, just turn to close our door, raise it, and clean it. That's the whole form. So, every week we learn a different one. We're going to put it together with some music and just enjoy, okay? It's three, four minutes of your day to get that chi opened up and flowing. There's a commencing kind of a honoring gesture. Take your left hand, which is, they come together harmoniously. Right goes under left, left goes under right. They open and we commence, commencing form. So we'll be with that. Have fun. Let's do this, hey? One of my favorite songs. <laughs> Thank you. 
Ready? Four heaven. Last song. Two. One. Last song to the ball. Three. Three. Two. Lift. Three. Two. And one. Swimming test. Three. Two. One. One more. Three. Two, one, big rainbow, up, snake, one more, snake, last on, wild goose, last on, wild goose, double breath, let it all go, two more, open that heart, last one, Lean it. Last time on the right side. Here we go. Three. And sing. You're doing amazing. A board heaven. Three. Ah, nice, healthy spine. One more. Right bounce the ball. Three. Two. Left two. One more right bounce that ball. There you go. Swimming surface. Three, two, three, two, one. One more. Swim it. Three, two, one. Rainbow. Reach, everybody. Last one. Right. Right. Whack on. Wild goose. Whack on. Wild goose. One more. How about the rest? Come on. Down to the lowest lobes of one. One more. Clean it off. Awesome, gang. Okay, you were awesome. That was beautiful. So we have five minutes to do a little guided meditation. For this week, if you're comfortable, I would invite you to bring your legs up on your couch or a chair, you could always do it right in a chair, right where you're at, okay? But when you get inverted like that slightly, um, it helps to lower your blood pressure and your heart rate. So it's very calming to be in that gentle inversion. But if you wanna stay seated, good. Whatever works best for you is what you wanna do. So I'm gonna stay with the theme of colors. So I'm gonna take you on a slight guided journey of the chakra so we have the seven chakras take it from the bottom up we'll breathe into each of the chakras if you're new to chakras just know that there's seven little spinning vortices or discs and they ride along your spine and we're going to kind of flush them and detox them so that the chi or the energy can flow through unrestricted and restore vitality and good Whatever that might be just connect to the mother earth and the father sky and there you are right in between the two I will sound my chime at each chakra, inviting you to breathe into that energy center. So here we go. Don't feel you have to force your breath in any way, Jim group. So at the base of your tailbone is the root chakra. Imagine a vibrant red color circulating in a clockwise direction, restoring health from the bottom of your spine that's gonna send that kundalini energy upward. So just allow that disc to burn brightly in the color of red. And at the sound of the chime, breathe into it fully. Taking that energy from the roots, you'll move up it's just below the navel along the spine. This is a vibrant color of orange. And so if you invite that beautiful color in, this is our place of passion and creativity. So just let yourself marinate in this chakra for a moment. When you hear the sounding chime, just breathe in to that sacral chakra. Building on the two lower chakras, we ride up to the solar plexus, your power center. This is where we feel our power, our gut, our center. 
So connect to your individual power center. Feel the golden yellow energy and color in this region. Again, in hearing that chime, you will connect to it. Breathe in fully. As we travel up the spine to the fourth chakra, the heart, green, vibrancy, newness. The heart chakra is often considered our inner compass, connecting us to the lower three physical chakras and the higher three spiritual. So this is what we always want to check into. This is our true north, our direction. If only we trust it. So breathe into your heart. If you like, you can place your hand there, connect to the color of green, and breathe in at the chime. Trust the throat chakra, the color of blue. This is your truest voice. So allow that to be open, unrestricted. Speak your truth. Breathe into your throat. Feel its openness and imagine the color blue breathing in at the chime. With that open airway, we travel up in the eyebrow cords. It's the color of indigo, which is a lavender blue. This point is considered our wisdom, our intuition, that knowing, our inner sense that is always guiding you. Breathe in to the sixth chakra, that vibrant lavender blue indigo color, and connect to it through the chime as you breathe in. Finally, taking this is the color of golden white pure light. So just allow that light energy from the sun to move in and at the same time your own unique light to shine forth. So stand or sit or lie openly here, inviting in clarity and purposefulness and inner knowing and wisdom. And breathe in to your seventh highest chakra. Bring your hand, hopefully the open space and that beautiful rainbow of color, it's kind of like a prism. So each color has its own place, restoring your wholeness and your openness and your gratitude for the amazing being that you are. And I will just finish our practice with a quote that I love at this time of the year as spring moves forth and soon we will be able to venture out. Nothing is more right than this. The earth, the sky, and beautiful. And on that note, I will send the light in me to recognize and honor that beautiful light in all of you. Namaste. Thank you so much, people. Peace and love. Thanks for joining me, and I hope to see you soon. Have